Facebook Reels. Have you heard about them? Well, we should not be too surprised that Facebook is putting Reels on their platform because everyone is loving short form content. And so let's talk about what Facebook Reels are, how we can use them, and how we should be using them to grow our business. My name is Michelle Gifford. I'm a brand and marketing strategist, and I help you build the business you feel called to create. And this is gonna be a good episode because we're gonna break it down for you all about Facebook Reels. So classic Facebook move, we are seeing that TikTok videos are exploding and so we copy and paste them to Reels on Instagram and now we see that's doing well so we're gonna paste it onto Facebook. Now the thing about this is we know that social media platforms reward early adopters. What does that mean? If you decide to try this early, then you are going to get highlighted and featured and shared a lot more than other people because if you wait, more people are gonna be using these Facebook Reels and then you have a lot more competition. So do I recommend starting and getting going with Facebook Reels? Absolutely. You just as well get started at the very beginning because that's where you're going to see the biggest bang for your buck. So what are Facebook Reels? Facebook Reels are just 30 second video clips, short form content that just much like Reels or Reels on Instagram or TikTok videos. Um, but they are only 30 seconds right now. How do you find these? Well, you can go to your Facebook app. You do need to access it from your phone. And up at the top where stories are, where you can click on your story feed, it has a new feed right there. It's your Reels feed. And then there's the group feed. But if you click on the Reels feed, you're gonna be able to see different Reels from different people. And this is where you're gonna access it. And this is also where you're going to upload your Reels. So once you do that, you're going to have to, if you decide to upload your Reels, you're going to have to allow camera and microphone access. And the cool thing about this is that you can choose who sees your Reels. So you can put it out to the public, or you can put it out to family and friends, or you can exclude people from it as well. You have a little bit more control on Facebook and that's kind of exciting. So how do Facebook Reels and Instagram Reels, how do they work together? Well, right now on Instagram, you can choose to have your Reels show up on Facebook, but there are gonna be a couple of limitations um, to doing that. So the first one is if you post your Instagram Reel to Facebook, people can see it, but they cannot comment on it unless they're in the Instagram app. You'll see that on someone's reel, it has a little Instagram logo at the bottom, and that's how you'll know that it is from Instagram, that it originated Instagram, and then it was just posted over to Facebook, not uploaded natively in the app. And so that's how you can tell. So you're not gonna be able to comment. You're also not gonna be able to see, when you go look at your analytics, like if you post a reel on Instagram, and you look at the analytics, the views are gonna count from Facebook, but you won't be able to see who viewed it on Facebook, okay? So if you do decide to upload a reel natively into the app, you're gonna have a lot more analytics because you can see exactly who is watching that and how many views you got on Facebook versus Instagram. But the views do count if you post on your Instagram reel, if you post to Facebook and Instagram, both set of views will count. So. Should you be using this? Yes, I said this already, but if you are already creating Reels or TikTok videos, you just as well use them on Facebook. The easiest way to get started with this is just select that little button when you post your Reel that you want your Instagram Reel sent over to Facebook. That's a really good way to get started. It's a very little effort for you and it just allows you to start using that platform but you also can just download your Instagram Reel and upload it to Facebook. This is something I'm going to test because I want to see which one is gonna work better for me because if you think about it this way, if I post an Instagram Reel to Facebook and it's on both platforms, that one video is going to get more views, right? Because I'm able to put it on both platforms and both platform views count but I won't be able to get comments from Facebook and I also can't see who's viewing it from Facebook over to Instagram. So I'm gonna be testing this over the next month or so because this is so new. We don't have a lot of data on which is gonna be better. So I'm gonna test it out. If you wanna test it out, then you can just download your Instagram Reel. I do recommend removing the watermark. It's very easy to do. When you're watching your Reel, click on the three buttons, click copy link, and then you're going to go to snapinsta.app from there, you're gonna paste the link and you're gonna download it to your phone and then you can just upload it to Facebook. It looks like a fresh new video and it doesn't have any watermarks on it. 
So what are the business strategies with this? Now listen, Facebook is a whole new market and it has a lot of people on it. You have to look at it from a business standpoint. This is gonna be a great place to be because you're going to be able to reach new people and reach new people in a different way. You're also going to have a little bit of the surprise or the shock factor because people are not used to this type of content on Facebook. So if you are one of the first people to get over there, that's actually a big deal and it's a good idea. So what content should you create? So just like any other platform, you are going to try the four E's. You're going to educate, entertain, engage, and encourage your audience. How can you do that in a short form video? It depends on your niche, right? How are you gonna do that? But for me, I'm gonna spend a lot of time educating so that I can get that authority and be the go-to person for people who are in business who need help. You need to focus on your audience when you're choosing which kind of content to create. The second thing I recommend is use trending audio. Find some audios that's really fun and catchy that catches people's attention. Number three, I would do transitions or make sure that you have some visual appealing thing that keeps people engaged. The shorter the video, the better. About seven seconds is really working on Instagram to where people want to watch it over and over again. And so I'm going to keep mine pretty short unless it's an education one and I need that extra time to educate my audience. So those are my tips for getting started with Facebook Reels. It's just like Instagram Reels, but on Facebook, it has a little bit limited editing capabilities. So just be aware of that. But if you need help figuring out how to use Instagram Reels, I have a whole video you can watch now. I'll walk you through the process step by step. So that is what a Facebook Reel is. And yes, you should start right now creating them, uploading them, or sharing them from Instagram Reels to Facebook Reels. And start doing it now because it's just going to help increase your reach later and help you grow faster. Because remember, social media rewards early adopters. So be an early adopter and get started right now. If you have questions about this, put them below. I would love to help you out and get you started with Facebook Reels. Make sure you subscribe below and we'll see you next time.